So that was Richard Allen arriving this morning at the Carroll County Courthouse in Delphi, Indiana. Uh, I'm not sure who the guy was that was yelling at him, uh, but I imagine that's probably one of the main reasons why the defense would like to see this take place, the, the trial take place outside of Carroll County. I mean, this is a town of under 4,000 people who've been waiting for this day, waiting for a suspect uh, for six years now on edge. And yeah, I imagine it probably would be pretty difficult to get a jury, an impartial jury for this case. So I was going to go live today and talk about what went on at the hearing in Delphi. Uh, but with it being a super short hearing and uh, some other stuff coming up, I decided to still make this video and we will listen to actually Anna Kane and Kevin Greenlee of the Murder Sheet podcast. They went on News Nation to talk about what they saw. They were live in the courtroom today. So let's listen in on this. Before we get started, I just want to mention our partner, Data Seal, whose service happens to align with something I am very passionate about, personal privacy. Have you ever been concerned about your home address, phone number, or other personal information being readily available online for anyone to find? Data Seal has developed an automated data removal solution that deletes your personal information from over 70 people search sites and data brokers. Use the link below in the description or the pinned comment to get 5% off your subscription. What's been the reaction to the judge deciding to bring in an outside jury? Um, I think it's one of just agreement that this is probably the best of both worlds. And in fact, we had the defense who filed the motion for change of venue, but also the prosecutor who essentially said, I agree with this. Uh, this trial, we could not get a jury in this county. So I think all in all, people are seeing, saying that this is a common sense solution that is um, pretty apt for the situation. Kevin, describe uh, Richard Allen in court today, his demeanor, what you saw. He seemed a bit more worn down than he had previously. Uh, I guess another spending another month in prison will do that to you. Uh, one thing I'd like to note is that there were uh, two women in court from his family. We believe they were his mother and his wife. And as he walked past them to his seat at the defense table, he mouthed the words, I love you. And his wife mouthed the words, love you back to him. Wow. How about the families of the girls? Were they there? They were. Um, they walked in uh, kind of as a group at one point, and it, it's um, they are actually affected by the gag order. They are not permitted to speak about the facts of the case to the media at this time, but they are continuing to kind of show their support and continuing to sort of silently advocate for these two girls, for Libby and Abby, um, as this trial kind of, as these pretrial hearings rather, get underway. Did Richard Allen look in their direction, any interaction between the victim's families and the man accused of killing those girls? Not that we saw. Uh, we did not witness any sort of interaction. He did speak a lot with um, his defense attorneys who sat one on either side of him, um, but he was, you know, quite quiet. And all in all, it was quite a brief hearing. We were sort of, um, it was sort of a big wait and then sort of a very short hearing uh, before the judge basically asked everybody to leave aside from the defendant and the defense. So the judge expressed some doubt that a trial would get underway on March 23rd, as is scheduled, because of the extraordinary amount of evidence. Did she elaborate on that and um, what goes into trying to get this thing rolling um, as is scheduled? Yeah, she did elaborate on that. She said the amount of discovery in this case is voluminous. We know there are thousands and thousands of tips that people have called in or emailed in. And it's difficult to imagine how Allen's two-person defense team can even go through and read all of those in the uh, two months or so between now and the, when the trial is scheduled. She asked them if they wanted to delay the trial and make that request now. And they said that for the moment, they want to leave the trial as scheduled, but they will revisit that issue at the next hearing, which is the bail hearing scheduled for next month. Uh, one overarching kind of theme is that there may have been someone else involved. Uh, what are you both hearing? Do prosecutors still believe that there could be more people responsible in this case? Uh, prosecutors certainly haven't given any sort of indication that they no longer believe that. Uh, we imagine that there may be more clarity at the bond hearing because they'll essentially possibly have to give evidence on why this man should be kept in prison. Or And so at, at this point, um, I, I would say that 
you know, they certainly haven't come out and said, actually, we've ruled everybody else out. But it's certainly one of the great mysteries of the case at this time, because no one else has been arrested. No one else has even really been named. So if there are other parties involved, we want to know what is their involvement? Were they directly involved in the murders or is something else at play here? Yeah. What do you guys think? Obviously, they said there could be some more uh, introduced or we might know more on the February 17th bond hearing. Um, but a lot of people, even when Richard Allen was arrested, still feel like or felt like there could be somebody else involved. And I know in the lead up to him being arrested as well, there was obviously chatter about this being potentially two people. What do you guys think? That's one thing I want to know down below. Do you guys think that they have their one guy in this? Do you think that they're confident that this is their one guy? Or do you think with the gag order and everything else in place, uh, they are setting up potentially another arrest? Uh, let me know down below, and uh, I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. The affidavit did reveal a lot, especially in terms of a timeline and understanding where he was that day, accounting for his actions. Um, what do we believe uh, with witnesses who may be called, who came in contact with him that day? Uh, yes, certainly there were a lot of people mentioned in the PCA who were eyewitnesses that day who came across somebody who certainly, um, you know, not necessarily uh, definitely Alan, but who they said was not uh, dissimilar to Alan uh, in the sense that, you know, it, one, some witnesses saw the man with his face partially covered. In some cases, it was a very brief interaction. But it seemed like the prosecution and law enforcement were sort of trying to use all these different pieces, putting it together um, to kind of basically put Alan at the scene. And Alan himself puts himself at the scene at that time. So that's another really important aspect. Even without the eyewitnesses, you have a defendant who's saying, yes, I was there that day. I was going on a walk on the trails. So it, it's sort of an interesting dichotomy between the witnesses and also what he's saying himself. Yeah, that is so wild. Like to think that he was somebody that they talked to early on and he said, look, I was there. I was on a walk. I was on these trails. Like. This is going to be very interesting, especially like uh, Anna was saying there with the people that don't necessarily like they haven't confirmed, confirmed that it was him. Um, it'll be really interesting to see like what kind of data that they can pull from security cameras that actually show Richard Allen in the places that they think he was based on um, the PCA from that day. But yeah, that'll be very interesting. We'll just have to wait. Obviously, February 17th is the uh, bond hearing, I believe is what they said. And uh, potentially we'll know some more there that might have to be released. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Sorry, I didn't go live today to talk about this. I know there's some stuff to read through as well. Any links uh, that came out of today, I will try to link down in the description below. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.